So, this is unexpected. Eric here from Galiza's Exotic Reptiles. This girl here was actually a rescue. Timmy got this from, I believe he got it from his boss at his job, and they thought it was a male. When we probed it, it was a female. The only one we paired up with this one was Benji. This little teeny tiny male banana. This tree banana. Male maker. It's about 700 grams. When I paired him up, he was only 500 grams. 550. So it was kind of like a little worm compared to this snake. So that's going to be the daddy. Let's unveil the mama here. She's beautiful, big, normal. Looks like she's sitting on a decent clutch of eggs. Let's see if we can get her off the eggs. Look, she looks like she's Strike me up, she could She's hissing. She doesn't want to let those eggs go. Look at that beautiful clutch of eggs. That's the mother. And she is just a normal. Beautiful, solid, normal. Well, who knows? You never know what they are. She could be hit for something. Hit pride. Hit albino. And she's probably not hit pied. There's no hit pied markers here. Let's check her belly. Make sure all of her eggs are out of her. Yep. She doesn't have any more eggs floating around in there. She's all skinny. She's just a normal... There's no markers for um, desert ghost or uh, albino, so she could be head for something. But I know Benji's not head for anything, so out of this clutch, we're either going to get uh, male bananas or we're going to get some normals. Either of the two genes. Alright. So, after the mamas lay, I like to put them in this tub where all the fresh cocoa husk is. Let them sit in there and relax. That's nice and moist cocoa husk. And she can chill in there, away from the eggs. Well, we count the eggs and check them out. Let her sit in the dark so she can relax. And we can turn our focus to these guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six eggs. She just laid them because they are all Seal the hole with band aid or some super glue. But you just work them apart slowly so they don't break. That's the best case scenario. When the mother lays the eggs, there's a mucus membrane that, when it dries, it keeps the eggs together. That wasn't so easy. She must have laid these a little while ago. These are all stuck together. 
get them apart. Just slowly rock them apart. Pull them apart because if one of them starts to go bad in the egg box in the incubator, then if they're connected, they might all start to mold. So I'd rather have them separated this way. If one starts to go bad, I can separate it from the rest. to put them in an egg box and go inside and candle them in the dark. see that little spot right there. It's hard to see. That little thing right there. It jiggles. So that's the embryo right there. So I know it's viable. Just have to find a little jiggly spot. Here's the little circle. Here's the little embryo. I like to face the embryos up. I think it gives them a better chance. They're not really sure of that. 
statistically. Insert the veins system is up in here. So, yeah, I'm going to say that this little spot right here is the embryo. That's where all the veins seem to be coming to. Baby snake. We got one more candle. That was an unexpected clutch. Now she was the ladies at least last night. The shells are actually starting to get a little less transparent. It's hard to see on the camera, but right here is where the air bubble is. That's where the veins all stem out from. Set up in here in the incubator. Can't touch the sides. Stagger the little ones. And put it in the incubator. So we're going to label it. This here is clutch three of the season. This here is clutch four. So this one. Two labels. First one, 
here's a normal female bred to a banana male male maker and that is clutch 5 of 22 and the second label says today's date so the lay date is 8 9 of 22 so the hatch date is 60 days 10 9 22 for 60 days. This here is clutch four. Or this here is clutch three. This is clutch four. And now we have clutch five. And there we go. See you in 60 days. So now we come back in here and take care of the mama. Cover her up. And there you go. This one actually lives up here at the top of the rack. eggs are in an incubator for 60 days hopefully she will eat Friday if not maybe two weeks and there we go that tub right there I leave them open like that um, to remind me that there's a item of food in there so I have to go up there and find out if the little uh, holdback pie girl has eaten Take her out and show her. This is our little holdback pie girl from last year. She's growing strong. She's the only female in the clutch that we had. She's probably a pumpkin pie. There's a lot of more in here. Her 
father is a pumpkin pie, yellow belly pie, and her mother was a normal. That was just hit for pie. I'm pretty sure she got one of her mother's genes, her sausage gene, and her father's had nothing else to give. She has a little X right there. 